In this presentation, we will be showing the design workflow for a precast concrete structure using Tecla Structural Designer. We will run through the followings. Design Assumptions and Requirements TSD Analytical Models TSD Member Grouping and Critical Results Member Design and Reports, and Drawings First, the Introduction the components of precast concrete frame structure are normally manufactured off-site. It may consist of the following components. Beams, columns, walls, slabs, staircase and landing, etc. The advantages. More economical. The units are cast in reusable molds and reduce wastage during construction. Minimal housekeeping and safer sites. Elimination of formwork, scaffolding, and wet materials means that the site can be cleaner and better organized. Better quality control. Finished products are cured under a controlled environment. Higher productivity. Rapid construction and longer span with no propping. Precast concrete floor slab. It's used widely in commercial and domestic buildings, as it's both design and cost advantages over traditional methods, such as cast in situ concrete floor. It may be used with or without structural toppings, or non-structural finishes such as tiles. The components are usually joined together to form a diaphragm, and are strengthened by a cast in situ, structural concrete topping with a minimum thickness of 50 mm. Common types of flooring systems are Half slab, hollow core slab, pre-stressed plank, precast concrete beams. Flat or wide beams are commonly used to support long span hollow core slabs. They are classified into two categories. Internal beam, which is usually symmetrical in cross-section. External or edge beam, which is non-symmetrical in cross-section and also loaded differently on both sides. When loaded differently on both sides, the torsion effect when floor slabs sit on the bearing, shall be considered. Precast concrete column. Square section with corbels are very common. The corbels provide support and bearing for the precast beam ends. The design is the same as ordinary RC columns. Additional design considerations shall be included for demolding, erection and propping. It can be up to four-story high, but for easy handling and transportation, one- and two-story high columns are more preferred. The Design Workflow Step 1. Working on the design assumptions. Step 2. Create TSD analytical models. Requires two different models as the boundary conditions and the loadings are different during the construction stage and the final stage. Step 3. Member grouping and critical results. Auto grouping for precast beams, precast columns, and precast shear walls. Able to generate the most critical design forces for each group. The precast slab results are not required as these can be derived easily based on the applied loading. Step 4. Member design and reports. There are four different options available. Option 1, select from catalog. Option 2, using TSD to design but with limitations. For an example, TSD design will be based on a simplified section, which will be more conservative. Option 3, manual design. Option 4, using TED's 2020 precast member design. Step 5. Drawings. There are three options available. Option 1. Export to Tecla Structures. Option 2. Using TSD but with limitations. For an example, plan views, column, and wall schedules from TSD can still be used but with some minor editing. Option 3. Manual drawing. Next, let's look at each step in more details. Step 1. The design assumptions and requirements. What is the design codes, using BS or Eurocode? What types of loading to apply? Type of span, is it half slab, hollow core slab, pre-stressed plank? Any structural or non-structural topping? What is the connection type? What are the boundary conditions in installation and final stages? Any propping in installation stage? Any extra consideration for BS code, example, imperfection construction? Extra checks for demolding and erection forces? Different concrete grade and strengths at different stages? Step 2, TSD analytical models. At final stage, apply final dead and imposed loadings. Precast slabs can be modeled using decking under precast concrete plank in home tab for materials, or simply use one-way slab. 
model members based on the final section sizes but idealized. The beams may model as continuous beams. In the final stage model, you can model the precast edge beam as L section, and the internal beam as inverted T section. At construction stage. Apply construction loadings. Update the member section sizes with smaller beam section. Update boundary conditions. Split the continuous beam and apply pin to the beam ends. You may remove the structural topping of precast slabs and reapply as dead load on the slabs. In the construction stage model, you can model the precast beam using smaller rectangular section, or model as smaller L section for the edge beam, and smaller inverted T section for the internal beam. Step 3, TSD Member Grouping and Critical Results TSD will do the member grouping automatically for beams and columns. You can highlight all members in a group. You can also select the critical member within the group. You create an envelope to show the results of the critical member in open load analysis view. Step 4, Member Design. Option 1, use the critical results from Step 3 to select an adequate section from catalog. Option 2, design members using idealist sections in TSD. Connection and precast slabs design are not currently possible. Design will be more conservative as smaller effective section is used in analysis and design. Dowel bars, for upper and lower stacks bonding, are not designed. Option 3, Manual Design. If option 2 is adopted, you can generate reports for the critical results. And the report can be exported to Word or Excel format for further editing. Option 4, send the precast members modeled in TSD to TEDS 2020 for design and reports. Step 5, Drawings. Option 1, export to Tecla structures. Option 2, TSD but with limitations. Option 3, manual creation. Now. Let us look at the demo videos.
The closing summary. This design workflow is not a total solution. You need to create two models for construction stage and final stage. The reports and drawings need to be improved when the design is done in TSD. No drawings can be produced if the precast member design is done using TEDS 2020. Connection design is not incorporated. You can still design the connections using TEDS 2020, but there is no integration with TSD 2020. What's possible? The ability to model the precast slabs, but there is no design. Able to get the critical design forces for the group members. Precast member design based on TEDS 2020 calculations can integrate with TSD 2020. And the calculations report can be generated from TEDS. You are able to produce some preliminary drawings such as plan view, column, and wall schedules, and beam details, which means there is no need to start drawing from scratch. However there will be no detail drawings produced if you are designing the precast members using TEDS. That's the end of this presentation. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact your local Tecla support team for assistance.